What up, fam? What up, fam? What up, fam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So excited that you have decided to tune in. We got an amazing webinar for you today. Let me just turn everything down real quick. Okay, well, I hope you are interested in learning how to build a nice, six page website for your church. So go ahead and get comfortable. Let me just set up a few things. One second, one second. Let me just set it up real quick. Give me one second here. Just make sure everything is up and running. Get that going there. Put this over here, and let's see what we got here. Let me make sure we're up and running. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to the studio. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I think we are all the way live. Let me just check. One second. Let me make sure here. One second, family. All right, I'm just trying to make sure you guys can hear me out there. Let me let me get it going. If you are able to hear me, I want to welcome you. But I do want to make sure everything is good as we get this webinar up and running. We are all the way live. You are behind the scenes right now. We're about to get it started. It's going to be great. So if you're new to making websites, you're going to really enjoy this webinar. Um, it's going to be off the hook. I'm going to teach you how to build a six page website from scratch for free for your church. Hello. Let me make sure this is up and running here. Let me just click. OK, yeah, you can hear me. Okay, Good stuff. All right, fam. So let's do this. Let me go ahead and mute that. Uh, go ahead and spread the word. If you want to tell someone to tune in, let me go ahead and share it real quick. Share it to your social media. Share it. Email it. Invite a friend, family member, loved one. Let me get this thing going here. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And then we're gonna go here. Let's just go here real quick. We'll get started in about 30 seconds, fam. This is behind the scenes on how to build a nice. I know it says five page, but I'm gonna show you how to do a six page website. So let me just get this up and running. Let me share it. Let me share it real quick. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we are all the way live. It's all the way live. Yeah. It's all the way live. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Let me give me about 15 seconds. We'll get started. Boom. Right there. Okay. And then let me uh, log out here. Existing account. Okay, let me go to my best SEO class.com. We want to share it there also. I want to encourage you to share it on your social media. If you know a friend or family member that wants to start a website for their church, I'm telling you, you're going to really enjoy this webinar. All right, let's get started. First thing I want you to do <clears throat> is I want you to go to my website here. See where it says pastordre.com on your screen if you type in pastordre.com you're going to get a page that looks just like this one okay what i want you to do is just go ahead and uh choose right here where it says free website it's going to select right there see that right there i want you to click that once you click where it says free website it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this what i want you to do is i want you to go ahead and type in a domain name that is basically the place where people are going to find you on the internet. That's where they're going to find your website. So in my case, say I want to do one for my church. And say my church is called the Revival Church. Okay. So I would type the Revival Church. You can make it whatever you want. Maybe your church is the Young Fire Church. Uh, whatever the name of your church is, you could type it right here. Uh, maybe you got a business, maybe you have a ministry, 
Uh, but I try to, I would say, try to get your domain name as close to your church business name or ministry name as you can. So I'm just going to use the Revival Church, and it tells me it's available. So then I want you to click right here where it says build my free website. Go ahead and click that. Then what's going to pop up is going to ask you for a little bit of information. Uh, let me show you how it's going to work for you really quick. I'm already logged in, but for you, it's going to be like this. Let me show you really quick here. I mean, log out, okay? And it's going to be like this for you. It's going to say, uh, once you type in your name, I'll show you right now. I want to take you by. I want to take you through step by step. So say I say we're the re, the re five old church, right? Once I type that in, and it's going to tell me it's available. I click build my free website. You're going to get a page that's going to pop up, and it's going to look okay. When I'm logged in, let me log out. Let me log out here so you can see exactly step by step. Okay, so let's log out there. Boom. Right, so I'm going to go free website. I'm going to click that. Open a new tab. Boom. So then, once I click free website, it takes me to a page that looks like this. We're going to type in the Revival Church. And then I'm going to click build my free website. And then there's going to be a few questions that pop up. It's going to say, enter your email, enter your name, enter a username, or choose a username, and choose a password. Now, the reason why it's asking you for the username and password is because this is a community. It's an online community that teaches you how to build websites, teaches you how to get traffic to your website. It teaches you so many things uh, for online business, but you can use it for your church. You can use it for your online business. So it's like a, a community of entrepreneurs that, I mean, it has a lot of features in it. you got a free membership and a paid membership. I'm going to show you how to build a website with the free membership. If you want to join the paid membership, totally worth it. You get like 25 websites that you can host blazing fast WordPress hosting tutorials every Friday uh, by they call him Jay. And then Jay, uh, he teaches you how to get traffic to your website, how to build websites, how to do Google analytics, how to track visitors to your website. He teaches you so much stuff. That's part of the premium plan. You get to host 20 websites on the premium plan. Uh, you get t live 24-7 chat on the premium plan. There's so many things. And the premium plan is like $49 a month. But I'm telling you, it is worth it. And if you sign up, I'm an affiliate, so they'll give me a little bit of love. Whether you sign up for free or for pay. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to do everything for free. All right, so go ahead and put your email address. Put your, enter your name. Choose the username. Choose the password. Okay, once you do that. Then you're going to get a page that looks like this. Let me show you how your page is going to look now. It's going to look just like this. Okay, it's going to say, let me log in real quick. Let me log in for you. Okay, so let me go to website. And I want to, uh, let me see, I want to I want to build a website. So it's going to go like this. You're going to have a page that looks like this. I want you to click where it says free domain. But you've already seen that your domain is available. So let's go ahead and type that one in. The Revival Church. So enter a title for your website. I'm just going to say The Revival Church. You can call yours whatever you want. Uh, church name, business name, however you want to do it. And then choose theme. You only have one available. I have a lot available because I am a premium member. But you're only going to have this option available because you're barely starting. So go ahead and click choose theme right there. Click build my website. It's going to do what it has to do. It's going to take about... 15, 20 seconds. So while it's doing that, let me get some water. Okay. And the, everything we're going to be able to do on this website is going to be done for free. All right, there it is. So just go ahead and click log in now, wherever you're at. Okay, let me. Oh, it says privacy error. Let me try one more time. Log in now. Your connection is not private. Huh? What's happening here? That's different. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log into our dashboard. Sorry about that. All right, and this is what you should get also. Got a dashboard right here. Okay, so you should have a dashboard. This is your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get started. What I want you, the first thing I want you to do is click where it says, now let me show you the goal. Our website, our goal is going to be this. Gonna, our goal is going to be to build a website that looks like this. This is our goal. For free now. 
not fancy. It's not, you know, something like, wow, but it's pretty decent for a free website. I'll tell you that. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right. So that's going to be our goal right now. I'm going to show you how our website looks. So we're going to go ahead and visit our site. We already have a website up and running just that quick. So here's our site. It's how it looks. Our goal is this. We're here and let's start. Let's get busy. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go where it says appearance, customize, click right there. All right. Once you click customize, I want you to go ahead where it says site identity, click right there. Where it says hide site title, click that. Where it says hide, hide, sat, hide site tagline, click that. Where it says select logo, I want you to click there. I already have some files stored on my hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some files that I already have stored. Uh, like I'm not a graphic designer. These are some files that I just put together really quick uh, just to, you know, for the sake of this webinar. But if you have a graphic designer, they could give you some pretty cool stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the files that I have on my hard drive. So let me go there, which I said I made Photoshop, real basic. Uh, let me see, live webinars, pastordray.com, and let's get the images. So the first one is gonna be our header. So this is the header here. Let's go ahead and grab that, okay? And we're gonna, this is what we're working on right now, the header, okay? So, all right, just make sure it's selected. Then you click select there. Make sure you crop it up to where you see the whole thing. Just click and drag these little boxes right here. Boom, crop image. Okay, and now you should have a, a, a decent header. I want you to go ahead and click publish. There's your header. There it is. Now to center it, click this arrow, click layout. Then over here, I want you to click header. And then scroll down where it says header alignment, click center, and then click publish. So let's go ahead and refresh our website. This is the website we're working on. Let's hit refresh. All right, there it is. Remember, this is our goal. And right now we already have this. Let's go back. Now what we want to do is we want to add these pages here. Home, live webcast, podcast, small groups, blog, contact us. That's what we want to add. So let's go ahead and do that. The way you do that is you go back to your dashboard, okay? Get familiar with that term. This is your dashboard. So you want to go to pages and then you want to click add new. All right. And then you want to start typing in your live webcast, podcast, small groups, all contact us. So what you want to do is you want to go where it says add new and then where it says add title. Just type, oops, sorry about that. Just type in live webcast. Okay. And then you're going to click publish. Next one you're going to add in is you want to click add new. And then we're going to say blog. And you click publish. Next one, we're going to say add new. And then I want you to type in podcast. And then you click publish. I want you to click add new and I want you to type in small groups. Then I want you to click publish. Then I want you to click add new and I want you to type in contact us. And then I want you to click publish. All right, now you wanna go back to pages, just go ahead and click pages. All right, and what I want you to do now that you're in pages, I want you to take out the sample page, go ahead and trash that. I want you to keep everything else, go back to your website, click refresh, there's all your pages. Okay, now we gotta add, change the order and make sure our homepage shows up. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go to appearance, okay, menus, and then here's your menu, boom, okay? And then to change the order, like if you notice, this one has home, live webcast, podcast, small groups, blog, contact us. Ours right now says live webcast, blog, podcast, contact us. How do you change that order? Well, you just simply go back. Here's your menu and you click and drag. So if I want, if I want blog to be lower, I click it, and you drag down, boom. Make sure it's all the way to the left. You don't want it to be to the right. 
you to the right, it's going to be a sub menu. Just making sure it's to the left. So let's put choose our order. We already got home. That's default page. Leave that. Next, we want our live webcast. We're going to click and drag it up. And then after that, we want our blog. So I want you to click and drag it up. And this is from left to right on your website. So we got home, live webcast, blog. Let's put uh, small groups next. Sure, it's going to the left. Uh, let's put cod podcast after small groups. Make sure it's to the left. And then contact us. Then you want to click create menu. Okay. Then you want to scroll down, see where it says primary menu. Tick that. Click save menu. Okay, now that it's saved, go back to your website, click refresh. And there's your six pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that so cool? And they're actually pages. So if you click my webcast, there's your page. Blog, there's your page. Small groups, there's your page. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's go back to the home page. So now we've got the header, we've got the menu. How do we add this text here? Let's work on that. All right, next thing you want to do is go to pages. And before you go to pages, let me get you to add the, uh, the editor that we're going to be working with. So I want you to go to appearance. I mean, I'm sorry, settings. Go to settings. And then I want you to go to where it says writing. I want you to click that. Okay. And then I want you to click where it says block editor. And then I want you to click down here where it says yes. All right. And then I want you to click save changes. Okay. Now I want you to go back to pages. And now you're going to have different options. See, you got block editor, classic. Editor. So we're working on our home page. We're working on this page right here. And we want to add this writing. Okay. This is our goal. This is our actual website. This is our back end where all the changes take place. So let's go ahead and click home page. Where's our home page at? Let me see. Sorry, go to pages. Let me see what's happening here. Where is our home page? Okay, where'd you go? See appearance, menu, home page, custom link. That's going to go there. Okay, that's good. Just going to click save menu. Okay, so hopefully it'll show up now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and hit refresh. Okay, home page is showing up here. Let's see if I can get to show up in the menu. Now what's happening? Let me see. Go to pages. Hmm. All six pages. Well, let me create a home page. I guess I'm gonna have to create one. I'm not for sure why it's not showing up. Let's see here. Parents. Let me take a look real quick. Sorry about that. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, boom, menu, boom. You want home page. That's right. Automatically add the top. Okay, boom, that's right. Go to pages. Oh, well, I could add one. I could always add a home page. Hmm. So let's go ahead and put home. Publish. Publish again. Okay. Let's go back there. So now we well, what I did is I manually added a home page. I'm not for sure why it wasn't showing up. So now I gotta go to appearance and menus. Okay, and there's our home page. Oh, I think I know why. Let's see if you all there it is, because it wasn't added. So if it ever happens to you or your home page, so let me go ahead and delete this. Custom leak. Let's remove that. Sorry about that. So, where it says view all, these are all of our pages. But if you notice, home is not added. So, if you ever want to add a page that's not listed, you go to view all, tick it, and click add to menu. Then you click save menu. Now, if I go back and I refresh it, it should be on my menu. 
but it also should be in my pages section. Let's see. I think this is my pages section. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. Okay, well, we got the home page there. So there it is. All right, so what we want to do now, let me go ahead and preview this home page. Go ahead and preview it. Okay, there's our home page. So I just went ahead and manually added it. Hope I didn't throw you off. If you have any questions, hit me up. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. All right, so here's our home page. So we want to add some text to it. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So here's our home page. We want to add this text. So all you got to do is you start typing. You can say welcome to the welcome to the revival church. <laughs> or whatever the name of your church is, revival church. And to make it big, you just highlight it, right? And you click that little symbol, click heading. Just H2 it, make sure H2 or H1 is even bigger. You could do H1 like that. And you click B for bold and you click update. And if you want to center it, you click these little lines and you click align text center. Boom. And you click update. So now when we refresh this page, which is our home page, there it is. There's your home page. Isn't that cool? So now you already got your typing. Oh, there's a I know what okay, I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix this thing here. Let me fix this. So now what I gotta do is I gotta go back and I need to make our home page a static page. I'm gonna go to appearance, settings, and then I gotta go to writing or reading. And then I see where it says static page, I have to click that. And then I, I gotta make the home page home. And then post page, you wanna put blog. And click save changes. Okay? And then you go back here and you click refresh. Now this is your home page. All right, hope I didn't throw you off, but it, like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. All right, so we got a home page going on. I want to get rid of this side stuff. And I want to get rid of this name here. When I do that, I go to my dashboard and you go to pages. And then you go to home page and you click edit with block editor. Okay. So right now we're going to get rid of these things on the side. I don't like that. So in order to do that, you go to layout over here on the right. Click that layout. And then we'll see where it says page builder container. I want you to choose content, no sidebars. And click update okay now to get rid of this name you go back over here click disable elements see where it says content title you click that and click update it gets rid of that so let's refresh our home page there you go now you got no sidebars and you don't have your home page name all right so now we want to add this next line we are glad that you have visited our online home we look forward to connecting with you so i'm just going to go ahead and copy that text for the sake of time and to add any text, you just click where you want to type, click the plus. You could do a paragraph or you could just paste it. Watch that. Boom. There it is. And to center it, you can highlight it, choose the lines, align text center, click update. And then when I refresh my home page, there's the typing. Cool, right? So look, we already got the banner. We already got the banner. We already got this type here. We got the typing here. How do we add these three images? Let me show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to hit the plus sign right here. Then I want you to type in the word columns. Okay, click that. And then I want you to select the three columns. Okay, so now you're going to be able to add three images or three columns on your website. So you click update. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to add these images right here. This is our goal. The goal of our this is the goal, and this is the actual how our website actually looks. So let's go ahead and add those three images. So you add the columns, and then you want to hit the plus, and then you want to type in image. Boom. Okay, then you click upload. 
and I already have some images saved on my hard drive. And like I said, they're basic images, nothing sim nothing fancy. They're simple. If you have a good graphics designer, they could probably make some pretty good images for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click live webcast image and open. Then I'm gonna click plus again. I'm gonna say image. I'm gonna add an image. I click upload, and then I'm gonna click uh, church podcast image. Put that in there. Then I'm gonna go to the right. Click plus, add an image, upload, and small groups. Double click. And then I click update. Now, what I want to do is I want to center these images. I'm going to click on the image. See these lines right here? I'm going to click that and see where it says align center. I'm going to click that. Click on this one, the lines, align center. Click this one, click the lines, click align center, click update. So now let's look at our website. Let's click refresh. There it is. It's coming along. So it's almost looking like this one. Now, how do you change the background to be red? The way you do that is you go back to your dashboard. I'm clicking the arrow there. I'm going to go to appearance. I'm going to go to customize. And then I'm going to go over here. See where it says colors? You click that. To where it says background color, you can click in that box, start moving it around, and then your background will change. See it? See how the colors are changing? So if you want it to be burgundy like the other one, just click the red and drag it down to its burgundy. And then you click publish. Go back, back to your dashboard. Now, when we refresh this website, it's going to have burgundy background. Okay? So let's go back to our pages. So now we're here. We've already added the images. And we've got the images here. How do you add a video? So, okay, we're going to go back to our home page. Click edit. Okay. And then I want you to click uh, the plus sign again. Once it shows up, pages take a little while to load. See this plus sign? Like that. I want you to type in columns or choose columns. I want you this time, I want you to choose double column instead of three. Choose two columns. I'm going to click that. And then here, I want you to type click plus and then paragraph. And then we're going to take this text. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Boom. For the sake of time. And you just paste it in there. Boom. You can write whatever you want. If you want to type, you just click. Let me show you. So click. And you start typing. We hope you enjoy the. Surface. Boom. Click update. And to add a video, you click plus, type in the word video, you choose YouTube, and then you just go to YouTube and get a video. So let me go to YouTube, grab a video, and it could be any video that you made. Maybe your newcomer's team made it, maybe your pastor gave a shout out, however it is. So let me type in. Pastor Gray, I'm going to grab a video. Uh, let me grab this video here. So and the way you do it is you cho choose any video you want. You click share. You get this code right here. You click copy. And you go back to your home page and you paste that code in this box. And you click embed. And your video shows up. And then you hit update. So let's refresh our home page. There it is. Ooh, that's rocking. Right? There it is. You hit play. The video plays. Now it could be a shout out. It could be a shout out from your pastor. It could be a shout out from the newcomer team. It could be a welcome greeting from your public relations team. It could be so much right there on your website saying, hey, thanks for stopping by our website. We're so excited that you have decided to join us. Uh, we invite you to tune into our live webcast. Browse around our website, whatever it can be a welcome, it could be your it could be your actual service. There's so much you can do. As long as you can upload it to YouTube, you're good. All right. So there you go. So now what I want to show you how to do. I want to show you how to build your live webcast page. So let's go to live webcast, click edit. Okay. So remember our goal is this. And right now we're at this, so we're pretty good. Pretty good. Just click, let me hit refresh. 
Okay. Then there's the video. It looks nice, right? So how do you create a live webcast page? So what I did is once again, pages, edit the live webcast page. Huh? And then you could type whatever you want at the top of the page. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by our live webcast. Our service times are Sunday morning at 9 a.m. You can put it like that. Boom. Then you click update. And then to put your video, you just hit the plus. Okay, so you can enter, hit the plus, choose video, paste it in the box, embed, and now whenever you, uh, now you have a video on your live webcast page. Now, for your live webcast video to show up, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go here to YouTube. Okay, this is cool. I'm going to show you how to do something pretty cool right now. I'm going to sign in. Okay, I'm going to use my account here. Boom. Boom. Uh, let's see. It's asking me to verify my site. <laughs> we'll work it right now. Though. We'll work it. Let me just get this code. But I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool. Okay, let me see. Let me type it in. Boom. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to click your icon, go to where it says your channel, and then see where it says this little uh, video with the plus, click that, see where it says go live, you click that. Okay, so now when you want to broadcast your Sunday morning service, say you have your equipment set up, you're able to broadcast to YouTube, you got your maybe a, a phone or a camera or maybe even a pre-recorded service. To schedule a, a, a stream, you just go here where it says schedule stream, okay? And you click uh, create new, and you could call it, say your Sunday morning service. Morning service. So if you're going live on YouTube, this is gonna automatically show up on your live stream page. Then you can say, okay, Sunday morning service. The time is gonna be, say Sunday, you set your time, Sunday, and say 9 a.m. Okay, let's click that. Let's find the time. There it is, 9 a.m. It's not for kids. No, it's not made for kids. And you click create stream. Okay, so now this is like a pre, uh, it's a scheduled stream. All right. And when you go live, you know, like it, it, it's going to actually automatically go live to your, your live web page. To your web page now to make the video show up you click on here okay you click on there and then see this little arrow you click that okay then you go here where it says copy you click that go back and then you're going to replace that place your old url with the one that's your live stream and you click embed now that's rocking you hit update and we're going to preview this page. <clears throat> and when you preview it, whenever you go live, your feed is going to show up here. Tell me that's not rocking. Come on, tell me it's not rocking. That's rocking. <clears throat> and it's all done for F R E free. Okay? So if you don't want this stuff on the side, I'll show you how to get rid of that. If you want it there, you can leave it. Um, I'm okay with it on the live webcast, webcast page. It doesn't really bother me. I'd probably take it off, but you can get by with it. So there's your live webcast page. Okay, now how do you do a blog page? Close this. All right, remember, our goal is this. Right now, we've got this. And we got a live webcast page. Boom, right there. Now, let me show you something else, too. Uh, I want to link these images to those actual pages. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, and then I'm going to go to home page. Okay, and then with these images, we're going to link them to the actual pages. 
two ways you can do it. First way, you click on the image and you go to the actual page. Okay, this is our website. Remember, this is our goal website. This is our actual website. So let me go ahead and close our live stream. One way you could do it is you can right click on the actual page and click copy link address. You could actually click on the link and grab the link from the top up here. Okay, I'm just going to right click and click copy link address. Now, I know it's right click on the PC. I'm not for sure what it is on the Mac. So you get that URL, you select the image, you see this little chain thing? You click that and then you drop the URL in that box and you click the arrow. Same thing for church podcast. I'm going to right click where it says podcast, copy link address, click on the image, click the chain, and drop that link in the box, click the arrow. Same thing for small groups, click the image, go back, right click on small groups, copy link address, go back to the image, click the link, the chain, paste that in link in the box, and click the arrow. Click update. Now we're going to go ahead and click refresh, and we're going to go to the home page. So when we click one of these images, it takes us to that page. There you go. Click podcast, page to the podcast page. Isn't that cool? All right, let's go ahead and add a blog. The way you add a blog is let's go back to our, our dashboard, boom, and you go to your blog page, click edit. And actually, you don't even have to go to your blog page. You go to post. I'm sorry about that. Post. And what I want you to do is see where it says hello world, click trash. And then see where it says add new, click that. And uh, for the title, you can make it anything you want. Uh, you just write a blog like, you know, testimony, um, uh, update from the mission field, however you want to do it. I'm just going to say my first blog, my first blog. And you get your title and then you skip down one line, you start typing. Here is our first blog. We hope you are. And this is kind of like a newsletter for your church. Um, it's very important to have a blog on your website. Okay, do you want to click publish? Click publish again. Now, of course, your blog would be a lot longer. You'd probably maybe have like an update, maybe from the mission field, or maybe a testimony, or you can share whatever you want. It's your blog. But the key thing is to have a blog on a website because it gets you more traffic to your website and it helps you to rank higher in Google. And that's you want that. OK, so this so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to copy this text and I'm just going to paste a lot of it like it's an actual blog. I'm just going to paste a lot. Boom. I'm going to put space and paste it again Boom. like it's an actual blog. OK, paste some more. All right. Boom. Then I'm going to click update. So now you have your first blog. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our website, click our blog page, and watch what happens. There's our first blog. To read more, you click read more. There's your blog. Tell me that's not rocking. And to create another blog, you go back, right? You go back to your post, which is here, post. Click add new. And then you can just say my second blog. And then you just start writing. Now, it doesn't have to be called my second blog. You can call it whatever you want. Testimony from the mission field. Let's say that testimony from the mission field. So maybe as a missionary that wants to give a testimony. Hello, this is on fire, Jack. Uh, live from the mission field, or you know, writing from the mission field, or whatever. And then boom, they just start sharing how God's moving. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So let's just say we're going to copy that. Jack is writing how God is moving on the mission field, boom. And then the church writes about it on the blog, boom. And there it is. You got a whole blog. Click publish. Publish again. And then you go here to refresh your blog page. So now you got two. Uh, you go to blog. Sorry about that. You go to your blog page. Now you got two blogs. That is right. The more you write, the more Google writes. <laughs> Let me just say it like that. More you rank, the more visitors you get to your site. More visitors do you get to your site, the more people hear your message. The more people hear your message, the more people could get saved. More people could join your church. More people could give to your church. So you want people to get to, you know, to get to your website. You know what I'm saying? And the way you do that is by writing a lot of blogs. 
you know, of course, promote it on social media and all that good stuff. But the more blogs you write, the better. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and go to our um, dashboard. And now what are we going to work on? Let's see what page we're going to work on now. So we already got our home, got our live webcast, got our blog. Let's do our small groups page. So the way you do that, you go to your pages. You go to small groups. You click edit with block editor. Okay. And the same thing you did before, you start writing. So you got your small groups. And you can say name of small group. Uh, the on fire small group. And remember, simpler is better. Don't complicate it. Okay, name, you need the location, uh, one, two, three, four, trekker row. We'll just say that's the address, four, trekker road. Good, good, mall. Boom, then you say, um, uh, let me see, name, location, day, say every Tuesday. Boom. Contact number said 061-407-9474. There you go. That's your first small group. You click update. And you just start adding small groups. You could do three columns. Like you can go to the plus and you could do columns. So type in the word columns. And select it and then choose three. All right. So then you could take this text here, copy it, control C, and you could see hit the plus here. All right. So you hit the plus and say you want a paragraph and you just paste it. You go here, click the plus, paragraph, paste it. Plus, paragraph, paste it. So you could do your small groups like that too. You could do one or you could do three. Update it. Let me show you how it looks. So then you have a list of all your small groups. Isn't that cool? And then to make them stand out, you can like bold the name, you know, to make the name of it stand out. Click, you highlight, select it, and click the B. Select it, click the B. So now this is going to be highlighted. So I click update. Then I'll refresh my blog on my small groups page and watch how it looks now. Isn't that cool? So if I want to take this top one out to get rid of any block, See these three dots? You click it, which says remove block, click that. And you click update. Now, we're only going to have the three columns. Oops, let me take everything out. Sorry about that. This block out. Got to take the rest out. This block out. Take this block out. Boom. And then you click update. Then you click refresh. That's rocking. There's your small groups page. Now, how do you do a podcast page? Uh, same way, go back to your dashboard, go to your uh, pages, then you go to your podcast page, click edit with block editor. Now you need to have a podcast if you want to have a podcast page. There's a lot of places you can get a free podcast. I think Podbean offers free. Uh, who else? Anchor offers free podcasts. I mean, they are limited, but you could do a pretty decent podcast. So I'm going to show you how to import a podcast. Mine is right here. I have a podcast called the Rise Up Radio segment. I uh, come at you every Wednesday at 12 o'clock with testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. So let me show you real quick how you can import your podcast. You want to get what's called your RSS feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my podcast account. Okay. I'm log into it. And then I'm going to go get my RSS feed. So here's my podcast. I'm going to go to my dashboard. Now, the main thing you want to get is your RSS feed. You might go about it different the way I'm doing it for my podcast, but every podcast has an RSS feed. Okay, so I'm going to go to view, edit, see where it says RSS link. I click that and I click copy. Boom. All right, so now I'm going to keep that RSS feed. Another way I can do it. Oops, sorry about that. Let me just leave that alone. Okay, so once again, go here, RSS link. Copy my link, and then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to click the plus, and I'm going to click R, type in RSS. See that feed? I want you to click that selection and drop your link right in that box. And you click use URL. Okay, and then you click update. 
Okay, let me make sure I got my RSS feed going on right here. See you guys on regular segment. Grab my RSS feed. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see where we at here. Play. Uh, dashboard. Let me just make sure I got the right RSS feed. Okay, boom, view. You grab one of these. Let me see. Copy link. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see here. Okay, RSS customization. Okay, here's my RSS feed right there. Okay, so you just want to make sure you get your RSS feed, put it in that box. For some reason, it's giving me an error, so let me put this RSS feed in there. Boom. Okay. I don't know why it's given the error, but as long as you get that RSS feed, maybe it takes a little time to update or something, but it should be good to go. Let me refresh it. Let me see. Boom. I go here to the podcast. Yeah, for some reason, I'm getting an error. Let me see. Let me do a little research here. One second. Boom. Speaker.com. Show. For sales feed. No, that's right. I don't know. Maybe it's taking a little bit of time to update, but what you want is you want to get your RSS feed, drop it in that box. You should be good to go. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. Shows, custom. That's right. Okay. Boom. So put that there. That is, let me see, edit. I want to edit it. Boom. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure. I don't know why it's giving that error. Let me check it out one more time and then I will move on. So we got view, edit, RSS link. Let me, let me try something. Let me try copying this way. Let me try something. Boom, put that there. Okay. All right, I'm just going to leave it, but once you got your RSS feed, you should be good to go. All right, and then the last page I want to show you how to make is a contact us page now this is pretty cool so you go to contact us and you go to edit and then i want to show you how to put a free form on your website where people can contact you what you want to do is you want to go to a place called jotform.com okay and they offer free forms it's pretty cool so i'm gonna and, and, and let me show you really quick the pricing is right here you get a free form, five of them, 100 monthly submissions. Not bad for free. If you want to get upgrades, you can always pay. You get a lot more stuff. It's worth it. There's so much you can do with these forms. You can have, receive tithes and offerings. It's amazing. All right, so go to jobform.com. All right, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account because I already have an account. So I'm going to show you how to put a form, and we'll be done. All right, so I'm going to log in. Boom. Log in with my email. Boom. All right, so right now we are on our contact us page and I'm going to show you how to put a form right here. So what you want to do is you want to go to create form. Okay, it's going to give you a basic form. So I'm just going to go into this form right here. Okay, you're going to have an empty form, but to add to your form, once you, you know, click create form, you just come over here, click this little element where it says add form element, you click the plus. You want to get their name, you click and you drag it over, name, boom, there it is, name and last name, okay? So I'm going to take it out because I already have it. You want their email, click and drag. You want their address, click and drag. So whatever you want is click and drag. You can make appointments. There's so much, you, can, you know. Uh, I mean, of course, the free one is limited, but with it's worth it. You could do name, email, and phone number. And then, so if you want their number, you just drag it over, they'll put the phone number. If you want like a multiple choice, you scroll down, see where it says multiple choice, boom, you drag it in there and you just write your question and give them the options. I wrote, how did you hear about us? Website, radio, TV, friend, flyer, other. And then what happens is the email that you use to sign up, this form will be automatically submitted to that email. So keep it basic, simple, simpler the better. So name, email, phone, how'd you hear about us? And you're done. That's your form, right? You can put whatever you want, but I would encourage you to keep it simple and basic. Okay. So now that you got your form, how do you put it in your website? You go to publish and you go to embed over here on the left. 
see this code, you click copy code, go back to your website, see where it says contact us, the page, hit plus, type in HTML, hit that, you want to drop that code in the box, hit update. Now watch what's going to happen to your contact us page when you click it. You're going to have a nice little contact us form. Tell me that's not rocking. Uh, and all this has been done for free. Okay, so you got your home page that's rocking. You got your live webcast page and you can go live with church services. You got your blog page where you can write updates like a newsletter or so many things you can do. You got a small groups page to advertise where your small groups or Bible studies or your youth night meets, your, your young adults, your ushers group, your your your, your life groups, your Bible studies, your small groups, your in-home groups. You can put a whole list on here. You got a podcast page. Come on, somebody. Put your podcast there. And then you got a contact us page. Tell me that's not rocking. And all this has been done for how much? Absolutely. So let me just put this in there before I get ready to let you go. If you don't have a church website, now you can get one for free. And I'm going to put it to you like this. In this day and age, if you don't have a website, it's like your church don't have a building. Because a lot of people are online. We know a lot of, about the pandemic that's hit, and, and of course, a lot of churches maybe do not have church in their buildings for a while. Or now you can have church, but you're limited. But you want to have a website because then you can broadcast your church services. You can connect with your people. You can do your giving online. I mean, promoting on your website on social media is great, but that's rented property. You want your own website. You want property that you own. And then what you do you lead people from social media to your website. A lot of churches are promoting social media. Visit us on our, our social media page. That's okay, but that's rented property. You want to broadcast on social media to come to our website because there on your website, you can have a giving page. You can have a contact us page. You can have a list of your small groups. You can't do that on Facebook. You can't do that on YouTube. So I really encourage you to get a website for your church and promote your website. Don't tell people to go to your social media page. I mean, it's cool. You can. But if you want to build your online presence, you want to reach people online, you want to get giving online, you want to get connected online, the best way to do it is to send people to your church's website. I'm not saying you can't connect on social media. You can. But there's so many distractions. And if I wanted to give an offering on to your church, I, I can't do it on social media. I have to go to your website anyway. So lessen the step and let them watch your services online. And then just put a giving button on your website. They just click to give. I'm telling you, the simpler, the better. And if you want people to give, you don't want to promote on social media. Hey, go to our website to give. Do all this. Do all that. Have them on your website. It's simpler. Okay? And, and, and if you don't have a website, I just showed you how to make one for free. My goodness. And there's so many things you can do with your own church's website. You can list your small groups. You can't do that on social media. Right. You can have a contact form. There's so much you can do. You can have a blog, a blog on your website. You can't do that on social media. All right. So if you have any questions, hit me up. Pastor Dre at Pastor um, I just showed you how to get a free website for your church. I'm not saying don't use I'm not saying don't use social media. Do it. You can do it. Promote, promote on social media. But my challenge to you is when you promote on social media, lead people to your website. Now, I'll end it like this. When you promote on social media, you get a lot of you know, people interacting and stuff. That's great. That is like a crusade. You know, you go to a building, you got a thousand people. Wow, we had a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people watching our service had a thousand people. Okay, that's great. But that's like a crusade. But if you, you want to have a church service and people that are actually going to be connected to you, you bring them to your website. Because you can have a crusade of a thousand people, but maybe only 50 will come to your service. But the more you get on your website, that's like your church. Okay? Because your website is like your church. You can always interact with those people. I hope I'm making my point pretty clear that I really encourage you to get a website for your church. You can do it for free. There's so much more you can do with the website. If you've got any questions, hit me up. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. God bless you.